Hi, today we're gonna create a title for a travel video. So tap subscribe if you haven't already, watch till the end because I've got something for you and let's begin. First, add clip with the waves into the timeline. I will get rid of the audio track, we don't need it now. And let's trim it so it contains only the scene with the wave that will wipe our text. Yeah, maybe this is the wave we want to use in our effect. So trim to the left and right. Okay, we can go to the Fusion page now. So let's create our text node. In the inspector type your text. And yeah, I've forgotten a background node. I always like to create my composition over a background node and make sure it's the same size as my timeline resolution. In this case, it's full HD, so it's okay. Okay, so let me merge our media in over the background and connect it to the media out. And now let's merge our text node. So this is what we've got so far. Text is over the video and what we want is the text between the water and the sand. In order to achieve that, we need a delta keyer node. Now we need to connect media into delta keyer and merge it after the text merge node. So it's on top of our composition. Now select delta keyer and in the inspector, grab the color tool and simply hover over the color you want to get rid of. Let me preview Delta here so you see what's going on here. So again, let's pick the color. Here is fine because the foam and water is visible. Now enable Media Out View and the text is not visible. Why? Because it needs to be placed above the color we have eradicated, which is the sand color. If we move it down so it's above it, we can see the text but below the foam and water. In other words, We've sandwiched the text between our original clip and the clip without the sand. Okay, now the fun part. Fun because I've spent hours to figure it out by experimenting with different text and particle settings. So treat it as ready to use recipe. Let's disconnect our text node, recenter it, change color to black and font to chiller, increase the size. In shading tab, disable the first element switch to the second one and enable it. Select type as gradient. Okay, the text node is ready. Now add P emitter and P render nodes. And we're gonna need also P direction force that can be found in the select tool. In the P render node, make sure you've selected 2D as the output mode. In the P directional force, set strength to zero for a moment. And in the P-Emitter, in the Region tab, switch Region to Bitmap. In the Region Bitmap field, write the name of your text node, in our case Text1. In the Style tab, select Blob. In Size Controls, increase size to 0.5. Okay, let's connect the particle nodes with the text and preview the P-Render node on the left. Uh, we've forgotten to increase the number of particles. So in the P-emitter, set number to 500. 500 worked okay for me. And let's switch color control to use color from region. Let me increase tracking parameter a bit in the text node. That's better. And let's add color corrector node also. Decrease lift and gamma. Okay, now I will show you which parameters we're gonna keyframe. Let me preview text only and zoom it a bit. So this is how it looks now if you play it. If you increase position variance, we've got something like this. Maybe it's too intense, let me decrease it. Okay, and the second parameter we will focus on is the strength in the P direction force. If you increase it, it looks like this. I think you've got the idea already. As a final touch, let's add Gaussian Blur to it. But I will disable it for now. Okay, we can try to merge our text to the whole composition, but we need to position it so it looks more 3D. In order to do it, we can use Corner Positioner. But let me merge all those nodes over another background node it helps a lot when you change its size, position, etc. 
Don't forget to make the background transparent. Now let's connect it to the corner positioner. Click the corner positioner and adjust all four corners so it looks as if lying on the beach. Now it's time to keyframe position variance and the strain parameter. So let's say from this moment we will increase position variance. So create keyframe, move the playhead forward one frame, create another keyframe, move back one frame and set the position variance to zero. I will proceed the similar way with the strength parameter. So let me fast forward. Now let's enable Gaussian blur and keyframe it also because we want the text to be blurred out only when the wave is above it. So this is how it looks so far. And finally keyframe blend parameter of the merge node so that the text disappear at some point in time. In spline tool I will set is to in cubic. Finally you can play around with the apply mode of the merge node, the color of the text and so on. Anyway if you want to use this title in your project you can download it for free or for any amount if you want to support my channel on coffee paste shop link in the description all you need to do is to download it drag the waves video to the timeline open fusion import fusion composition it might happen that davinci resolve will hang so restart it and open the project again it should be fine then modify the text in the text one node and that's it your title is ready as always leave a comment if it was helpful like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.